God. Easy money, 2046 for the weekend. 45-42. Great job. James Willoughby and Chance Schwartz from the University of Montevallo. The Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. The next stop of the season here on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Set to take place in just over a week now, April 22nd through the 23rd at McFarland Park in Florence, Alabama. I'm Kyle Curry with the Association of Collegiate Anglers and the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. We're looking forward to getting things started here in 2023, that first event here on the calendar and also the last major regular season event for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia for the ACA before our year-end championship at Lake Hartwell in just over a month. A lot of excitement around this event, a lot of registrations pouring in. Registration's still open through this Sunday. Go over to collegiatebasschampionship.com and get signed up. No entry fee. 20000 plus dollars in prizes and contingencies, paying out the top 20 as well as some other incentives, including power pole to the big bass winner and double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Pickwick Lake is a fishery that the ACA is very familiar with for a good while now. Been hosting the championship there for going on 10 or 12 years and started alternating here recently. And the last time that we were there in the spring for the Pickwick Slam, was 2021. The fishing was absolutely on fire, but a little different than what we're used to in the summer months when we come usually about a month after the date of this event. It was dominated by smallmouth. Anglers were up at the tail race catching a lot of fish, boatloads of smallmouth. We saw eight limits over 20 pounds. Six of those, I believe, came on the first day of tournament competition, and a majority of those were chocked full of just stud smallmouth bass. Fishing up there in the tail race, anglers were throwing a lot of different baits. It can get a little crowded up there. Word gets out that that's where they're being caught. There's not a lot of room for anglers to spread out, but it's a great area to go catch quality fish. We are about a week to 10 days later than we were when we came in 2021. Is that going to affect how the fish are set up and where they're located? Is they may be more into the post pond than they were previously? Time will tell and we'll find out once the field gets out there on the water. Outside of the tail race, Pickwick Lake offers a vast playing field for these anglers to go out and compete. You can get up shallow into bushes and trees, and you can probably even find a good topwater bite. Right now, we may be kind of flirting with the shad spawn a little bit. Is there going to be some of that playing into effect? These fish obviously won't be on the exact deep spots that we see them at around Memorial Day weekend each year when we come in the summers, but there's going to be some movement going on. Maybe the tail end of the spawn's going to be happening in some places. Cooler weather and a little bit of rain has moved in here in April could also play effect. Baits wise, this time of the year I feel like it's just wide open to anything and everything that an anchor might want to throw. If you want to go and fish your strengths, you're probably going to get bit. Throwing a topwater bait down the bank all day, I bet you find five. Want to go flip bushes and get up into shallow cover and, and bang around and find fish doing that in a variety of different ways, yeah, I bet you can do it. Cranking main lake points in secondary areas, there's probably going to be some fish doing that. I think it really bodes well for this field, the hundreds of elite teams to just go out and go fishing. And that's some of the best television, some of the most excitement that happens at these tournaments where anybody can go out and there's a chance they're going to run into the winning bag of fish and they're out there. They swim out there in Pickwick Lake. As we mentioned, this tournament boasting a total payout of over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, product ranging from items from 13 fishing, Rapala going on down the list. There's going to be some Bass Pro Shops gift cards, Avco gift cards, you name it. A lot of great payouts to be had as well as the contingencies. We posted on our website this week about Yamaha PowerPay paying out the first and second highest finishing qualified teams for that program. All oh, there's a list of other opportunities out there on the line. Garmin tournament rewards as well as the Ranger Cup as with any of these programs get on over to the collegiatebasschampionship.com. That information's all over there. Before you make your way to Florence, get signed up so you can take advantage of those opportunities. Also, Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. We're getting down to the end here. A little over a month left. Like we said in the intro for the Association of Collegiate Anglers, this is the last regular season double points event to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia before we get to the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops at Lake Hartwell at the end of May. What that means is, this is one of the last double points ACA events for the year. Very valuable opportunity here. 
On top of that, there's a Bassmaster College Series event happening around the same time as this event set to take place at Pickwick. Coming out of this weekend could really shape the picture for who's going to contend for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia at season's end. Continuing to look forward towards that championship event at Lake Hartwell here for the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. You're looking at the top 10 teams as they finish on day two in the overall tournament standings will automatically earn a spot into that ACA championship at Lake Hartwell, the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Those teams, as they finish, those exact two anglers will qualify regardless of any other qualification criteria that a team might have met throughout the year. These spots are in addition to those. So if you've got your four for being inside the top 25 in the school of the year race, and you have a team finish in the top 10 at Pickwick, that gets you to five. That extra spot of those two from the top 10, plus your four for being the top 25 for Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Full qualification criteria for the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops can be found on the ACA website, collegiatebasschampionship.com, as we look ahead to that. Also, before we wrap up this video, I want to give a big shout out to Evolution Fishing coming on as a partner with the ACA here just a couple weeks ago and being the presenting sponsor of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. They're going to be on site. They're going to be there activating, talking to you guys, handing out some information regarding discount programs and showing off their full line of products, various items inside of there that will benefit you, make you a better angler out there on the water. Look forward to seeing them in Florence here in just a little bit. And again, a special thanks to Evolution Fishing for being the presenting sponsor of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. It's going to be a great weekend next weekend. Can't wait to get out there, making our way to Florence, Alabama and Pickwick Lake for the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Be sure to get on over to the website, collegiatebasschampionship.com. Find out all the details you need, angler packet, where to be, when to be there, what you need to bring, tournament rules, get fully prepared, be ready. We're ready to see you out there on the water and in town in Florence. I'm Kyle Curry signing off for the Association of Collegiate Anglers and the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. We'll see you at the upcoming Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing.